So hi everyone. So everyone loves a good game console. It's a very easy way to get into some really high quality games, whether that be on a Nintendo or a Microsoft or a Sony platform. Um, and we know that this year the market is going to be augmented with one or two new devices, the new PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox. But they're going to be really expensive. And we also know that because of the coronavirus outbreak, probably they're not going to be produced in the numbers you'd normally expect. So getting your hands on one might be quite difficult. So this got me thinking, is it possible to build your own console, giving you a really good uh, gaming experience, but without having to invest a great deal of money? And this started a plan. If you have a look on eBay or other online marketplaces, you can see there's quite a lot of secondhand components which are available for really good prices. So I set myself a limit of about 80 pounds, 80 to 100 pounds, to be able to build what effectively gave a console-like experience. Now, I recognize that for that amount of money, you're not gonna come close to the new consoles that have been released or to high-end PC gaming. But hopefully be able to do more than it can't do. And ultimately, if it provides fun, then it'll be a good investment. So I sat down with my son and I asked him to come up with a name for a console. And that would be the name of the project. And after much thought, we decided on the name Fun Station. So this is the Fun Station project. Hope you enjoy. So the basic principles of what we're trying to do here is we're looking to make everything as simple as possible. That means no keyboard, no mice, everything's going to be controlled by a, a joypad or a games controller. Uh, it needs to boot straight into a friendly interface. So like in the same way a PlayStation would, uh, there's no logins, no passwords, you know, it just jumps straight in. Um, we want a standard interface for all games. So you've got your library, which you control everything, the access to everything comes through there. And we need to be able to buy new games. So we need an online store so that we can increase our, our content. Don't want to have to worry about discs. You lose discs, they get scratched. Uh, we'd rather just be dealing with digital copies. And the underlying principle is what we're doing here needs to be fun. So to start the project, the first thing I did was to go onto eBay and look at what pre-packaged builds were already available. And there's loads of old office machines which have been disposed, which you can pick up for a really good price. So I was, I was able to, to get a HP Elite uh, machine with an Intel i3, four gig of RAM and 500 gigabytes hard drive for a really good price. And this is it, the HP. As you can see, it's a low-profile black box. It doesn't look out of place on a computer stand or underneath a telly. It's quite neat and tidy and compact. And that extends to inside the box as well. So as you can see here, the device is well put together. It's a large heatsink over the CPU. The hard drive's hidden away. Uh, there's nothing out of place. It's all neat, it's all tidy, and it's a good starting point. And so at this point, I have my first problem. So I was dependent on a HDMI connection and the standard, the computer didn't have a HDMI. So it meant that I needed to add a graphics card. I was able to pick up a secondhand GT 710 for relatively good price again. Now I know it's not the fastest graphics card. In fact, some people have probably got their head in their hands right now, but it gave me the opportunity to have an HDMI slot for hardly any additional cost. So I've got that starting point where I can plug in and play. The graphics card was easy to fit and you can see now I've got a choice of connections. So my new specification looks like this. So for a cost of under 70 pounds, I've now got a device which will plug in and work. So my initial software configuration is based around Windows 10. Now Windows 10 is uh, highly configurable. It's compatible with lots of different software, lots of different hardware, so it's not going to limit any of my choices. Um, I've installed VNC so I can access the computer remotely, either through a phone, a tablet or another computer. And it means I can make software changes without having to have 
a keyboard and mouse plugged into the HP at all times. And I've based the console experience around Steam. Now Steam will automatically boot start on boot up and it will start in big mode. So it looks like a console screen. It's controlled with a joypad, so no need for that keyboard and mouse again. It's really easy to use, straight access to the games, and it has its own online store, so we can add further content along the way. And for those of you who haven't seen Steam boot up in big mode, it looks at something like this. Nice flash screen, a couple seconds loading, and then straight into a nice, easy to use interface. So that's the very start of our console experience. Now, the next chapter is to start adding the games that we want to experience and see how far we can take this device. And it'd be great if you guys came along with us on the journey. So please click subscribe, stay with us, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.